that's number six in the Bible records that uh, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge I also reject you as my priests I also reject you as my priests because you have ignored the law of God the law of your God let's have a prayer from sister Sarah Okay, asante kwa msomaji wetu. Mungu anasema akona watu wake, anasema my people, watu wangu. So, kwa wakati huu na karibisha mtumishi wa Mungu pasta. Ah, uh, ndio siku ya leo tarehe present vitabu. Kwa hivyo nachukua nafasi hii na kitambo hii uh, asimame naomba tuweze kupata ombi. Baba wetu tunakushukuru kwa kutupea nafasi nyingine ya kuwa hai. Pia tunashukuru kwa kipindi ambacho ulianzisha. Baba tunapo kimisho wako anaposimama kuleta mpango kwa nini ulianzisha na knowledge ambayo iko kwa vitabu nena naye roho wako mtakatifu amtumie jinsi mapenzi yako yalivyo. Nena na watu wako ambao muoe Unaahidi ya kwamba uko na watu wako ambao wanatenda wanasikiza neno lako ulio wakomboa ulio wanunua jina lako litukuzwe nena mtumishi wako katika Kristo tumeamana kuamini amen karibu pasta uh, tusome vitabu Uh, you can do better than that. Tusome vitabu. Nokia mwanzako mwambie tusome vitabu na ajibu. Asante sana. Na kuchukua dakika chache maana vitabu zenyewe ziko pale. Na nataka nianze na kitabu hapa cha Kiswahili, there's a Kiswahili book hapa. Inaitwa Kliniki ya Ndoa. Hebu nione ni wangapi wame wako na nakala hii ya kitabu hiki nyumbani kama umeikutana na hiyo kitabu kliniki ya ndoa hebu nione nataka kutafuta watu wa zamani unajua kuna kitu kiandiko na Kiswahili watu wengine wanafikiria ni substandard bwana sifiwe <laughs> hiyo kiandiko na Kiswahili when it's written in Swahili some people think it's a substandard thing but it is not true that it is a substandard thing Kitabu hiki kiliandikwa na mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa Nyagori. Na nikiwa mwanjilisti wa vitabu nilikuwa nakiuza sana. Na kuna picha nilikuwa natafuta hapa ambayo ningependa elda mwandu aione. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. Hebu njoo hapa mzee utusomeni nini picha inasema. Ni mchoro tu mchoro wa zuri. Imepigwa picha asoma alafu. Ah, nisome ni vile mesema. Ah. Nyumba nyingine zenye amani baba anapokelewa hata na kuku. Picha yenyewe ipo hapa baba ako na ako na kamzigo anarudi nyumbani watoto wanamkimbilia kuku mbwa na mama mwenyewe Praise God Hello Kitabu hiki kando na kuwa ni cha Kiswahili unajua familia ijui lugha Mambo ya familia ni yale yale na mwanadamu hajabadilika baada ya miaka elfu mbili bado ni yule yule na tatizo lake ni lile lile la dhambi hiki kitabu ukisoma nataka kukuahidi itakusaidia sana sana ujue mambo ya kulea watoto ya kuwa na nyumba yenye amani naomba ipata nafasi pita pale uulize mwinjilisti unaweza pata nakala hii ya Kiswahili na pesa ngapi kama unajua kusoma Kiswahili tumesema familia 
si ya lugha fulani so ni kitambo watu wengi kimewabadilisha mimi nilipokuwa mwinjilisti ilikuwa na kieleza kutoka kwa hiyo picha ya kwamba familia ikiwa njema na mzee akiwa na amani na familia yake hata mama umeiona wengine unafika nyumbani hivi tu ngombe na hata ako na majani yamekula lakini mwenye nyumba akifika unasikia amenzia kutoa ile sauti na si anja ni ya furaha unaona mbwa anakuja amekimbia watoto wanakuja wamekimbia lakini wengine wetu tunafika nyumbani inakuwa kama ni simba watoto wananyamaza walikuwa wamechangamuka wananyamaza mara moja jikoni kuna kuwa na tu sauti tu ya chakule kikiiva ki, 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 watoto awaongee Tuende kwa kitabu cha kingine hapa cha pili kinaitwa Feeling Good. It's a special book for women specifically. If you are a man you can gift your wife this book. It speaks about the health issues that pertain to our female gender and how to protect and how to uh, to prevent certain diseases ambazo ziko specific za kinadada hapa nyuma wanasema since today's women want to live longer and better it is imperative for us to learn how to protect nimeambia protection our health as well as preventing the possible disorders and diseases typical of our gender and the age women's gender kimeandikwa na daktari ambaye anahusika na mambo ya gender. Na kitabu kina kitu ndani. Kitabu kina DVD. Kina DVD ndani inayoonyesha kina mama hata wakati wakiwa na pengine you have a period ambazo ni painful, some exercises ambazo unaweza fanya. Iko na video ndani DVD unaweza toa uweke kwa mashine hata kama siku hizi DVD zinaendelea kuwa phased out. But this is a book ambayo ni wholesome for our ladies ambao tuko hapa karibia pale kwa meza uweze kupata hicho hicho kitabu tuna kitabu hapa kimeandikwa na jamaa anaitwa Pamflona na ni daktari physician kabisa na yeye ni surgeon na surgeon of course anaelewa mwili wa mwanadamu na huyu mwanaume ameandika vitabu vingi vinavyohusiana na afya iki kitabu ameamua kuandika iki kitabu kwa kusudi moja kusaidia sisi kutibu ama kuzuia zaidi kuzuia sana sana kuzuia magonjwa ambayo yanatokana na lifestyle kula kwetu na matumizi ya chakula anaonyesha mwili wako the best way mwili wako unaweza jiponya ni wakati wenyewe mwili wenyewe unajiponya na chakula kinanga side effect unless ukiwa mtu uko na allergy ya chakula fulani. So hapa anaonyesha vile unaweza kutumia health juices kuweza kutibu na hata ku manage magonjwa fulani. Kwa hivyo pia hiki inakueleza how to prepare smoothies, healthy ones, shakes, infusions and other healthy drinks na hata zingine za purification na weight loss. Hata mke wa mchungaji kwa sababu kuna mambo ya weight loss hapa naomba mke wa mchungaji angalie. Alafu tunaenda kwa kitabu kingine hapa kinaitwa Smart Love. Bwana asifiwe. Everyone can fall in love but not everyone can fall in love smartly. Are you with me? Bwana asifiwe. Yote wala tuko hapa inua mkono tu utambulike. Bwana asifiwe. Ni mkono ama ni vile umetumia jina utambulike hiyo amtaki okay ni mkono kama wewe ni if ni mkono Asante thank you This is a book ambayo mnastahili kuwa nayo ni to straight talk to young adults about dating love and sex Na mliko mnaniuliza maswali yale jana na nitoa jasho majibu yake iko hapo kwa vitabu kumbe Bwana asifiwe Na kwa hayo mengi tusimame ni waombe Nikitaka kwanza kabla sijaomba samani hii bucket kidogo bila waeleze mnakumbuka when I was announcing mambo ya camp meeting when I was emphasizing I think a month ago I told you that you should plan for a book you need to buy a book it has been my tradition 
from the time I joined this church, I bought my first book, Steps to Christ. I always buy a book during the camp meeting. When I became a lead church evangelist, I made sure that every month I bought a new book. And those who have been fortunate to visit my, my study room, they know I have a lot of books. It's a lot of sacrifice, a lot of money. So whenever I preach, I preach out of a, 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 an outflow of study, from, I mean, knowledge from the books. So now I'm about to talk kama ujapanga enda kwa ile meza saa hii nikiwaombea sitawaombea mkae chini muimbe hakuna kuimba mtaimba mtaenda kuona vitabu ndio ndio saa hii je nimeamua mimi ndio mwenye kanisa bwana asifiwe na hakuna kitu mtafanya mtatoka nyote mwende muangalie vitabu bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe hebu simameni niwaombee maana nyinyi ni watifu mtafanya hivyo tumesema na unaenda hapo unauliza hii ni gani hata kama ukiambiwa pesa Unauliza naweza aje pata zaidi kama ziko sahi mpange na mwinjilisti vile itapatikana. Hebu tuombe. Baba na Mungu wetu tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya hawa ndugu. Neno lako linasema watu wako upotea kwa sababu ya kukosa maarifa na maarifa inapatikana kwa vitabu. Tunaomba wanapotoka kuangalia vitabu na wajichukulie na kala uongoze sio tu kununua bali hivi vitabu wa visome na Biblia ziko pale Biblia nzuri bwana tunaomba watu wako pia wasipate katika jina la Yesu mimi nakuamini Yes hata Biblia Biblia na jua zimetoka ABC so hakikisha sijasema mketi actually hakuna wimbo hata hakuna chorus ataimbisha bila watu kwenda pale kuangalia vitabu 